everybody, it's Charles from Craving Shaving. How's everybody doing? Um, gotta get a shave in, and uh, not much new to talk about. I think I've used everything else, uh, everything that I've uh, that I'm using today, but probably not in this combination. Oh, um, just uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll have some new things to use in a little while, but for now, I'm just kind of got the same old stuff. Um, oh, that I want to drop. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite soap scents. It's more of uh, what I would categorize as a rustic kind of scent. Leather and gunpowder and all that. Sha shaving, uh, sorry, History 101 from Summer Break Soaps. Fantastic, uh, fantastic soap company if you've never tried them. Haven't made these in a while. But this is a, uh, this is a granite. Faux granite, so uh, it's a uh, you know imitation granite. It's actually resin. It looks like granite with a gel tip bore knot. And uh, let's uh, let's get it started, shall we? Um, this in the last video I talked about so soaps that I uh, have to grab when I walk by them and take a whiff. And this is one that I did that a lot with when I first got it. It's kind of been at the back of my soap drawer. And I haven't done that lately. And I was actually looking through my soaps today and I was like, oh my goodness, I haven't used that in so long. And it's so good. So, I had to do it. Um, I'm sure you guys all probably, if you're in the hobby anyway, if you're not in the hobby, you're probably like, how many shade soaps do you have? You're com very confused. But most of you, I imagine, are in the hobby watching this video. And uh, probably can relate to that soap that gets buried. And then you go, oh yeah, wow, that soap's one of my favorites. How have I not used that in a long time? Um, it's almost like finding, you know, 20 bucks in your pocket. It's pretty awesome. This stuff is looking really, really good. Um, so this, this fake granite stuff, it's really cool. And I have the stuff to make some more. And I have a plan for something that I'm going to do. Um, that's going to be pretty cool with it. But, uh, I haven't made it in a while. It didn't do nearly as well as I thought it would. I thought people would really think it was cool and unique and fun. And people didn't. <laughs> they, uh, they took a long time to sell. So I thought, oh, okay. Well, what you going to do? Um, these gel tip bore knots are doing pretty well, though. I'm, I'm, uh, haven't used mine in a while. Again, that's why I decided to use it. Okay. Um, one complaint I get a lot about these, I don't know that I agree. Personally. But I'm also not a bore person, so I don't know. But I get a lot of people who say they wish the loft was higher on this gel tip bore. And I, to that I say, okay, sure. I mean, next time I get bore knots, I'm definitely going to take that advice. But I sure have a lot that I have to go through first. Um, I think they're so soft, I don't think you need the same loft that you do personally with a, uh, with a normal board. But what do I know? Anyway, I'm not here to talk about that. By the way, if you're like, Charles... I want a gel tip bore knot, but I don't want to buy it from you because I hate you and you're in, you're uh, insufferable and I can't stand you. Okay, that's fine. You can gel your own bore knots, or if you're just like I don't want to pay for for that because that's more likely. Probably, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that's more likely. Um, you can do it yourself. There are YouTube videos that show that process it's not too but it's not too bad you can gel your own knot in an hour well start fishes maybe more than that but okay the razor that i'm using is a uh, west coast shaving razor that never went into production it's my prototype razor and it's one of my favorite razors that I've ever owned. Probably my, my all-time favorite razor, actually. They might sell it 
under with a different like theme called the 3D Wrap Razor in West Coast Shaving. You can go check it out. It looks like it's the same one. But it's great. I love it. Go and clean shaven again. It's it's not incredibly aggressive, which is kind of my deal. I don't go for the super aggressive razors. Uh, these days, they've always kind of rubbed me the wrong way. A lot of people don't like, uh, I've heard people say anyway that audio feedback is bad because that means the blade's chattering. I don't know. I I feel like when the blade chatters or when you get the uh, the audio feedback, I don't know. I like something about the way it feels. Some new equipment has made its way to the uh, Craving Shaving workspace. Hey, on Black Friday I bought a resin 3D printer. So we'll try to do some fun stuff with that. I, I uh, 3D printed this just as a, uh, I don't know if you can see that, this is a razor stand. Um, I designed this and it's pretty awful. It's just basically a lump with a hole in it for you to put your put your razor in, but it works. I'm designing I'm trying to design something a little better looking. <laughs> um, but if that's something you'd be willing to or interested in purchasing, let me know. Because I'm not sure if there's a market for it or anything like that. Um, I don't think it would be very expensive because 3D printed stuff isn't generally that it's expensive. I don't know what I would charge for it, but you guys know me and try to keep stuff pretty cheap. I'm talking a lot more shop than I mean to. I'm sorry guys, I don't mean to do that on these live sh or these uh, YouTube videos. Back to the hard or the uh, the software. This stuff. If you've smelled Tombstone from PAA, this is a lot like Tombstone from PAA. I like this one just slightly more than Tombstone from PAA. Um, so, there's that. <laughs> For a long time it was my favorite rustic kind of scent. Um, eventually it got beat out by Boomtown Bay Rum, which is another one that I consider rustic. <laughs> and it's awesome. For someone like me who I don't like Bay Rum, traditionally, it's pretty awesome stuff. PAA's Bay Rum is great. Other, <laughs> other stuff that I've tried that's Bay Rum that I've smelled, I open up and smell it and go, ooh, whoa, not a fan of that. It's like, pull my face back. But that's personal preference. I know a lot of people love Bay Rum. Is it is it pretty uh, polarizing? What do you guys think in the comments? Yes, bay rum, like the traditional bay rum scent, or no? Let's see if we can get a, a little bit of a consensus. It's pretty popular. I imagine people like it, and I'm also pretty sold on the fact that I have strange taste in such things. <laughs> Definitely strange taste in razors.
there is a such thing as too mild for me. You have to get pretty mild to be too mild for me. Okay, I am going to clean up a bit and uh, pause the camera so it doesn't cut, cut me off and come back for it past three. Hold on one second. Okay. It got all over me. Oh, lost a hair too. That'll happen. Um, hey, if you have any ideas of stuff to 3D print for craving shaving, let me know. I've already got some brush ideas. Not to 3D print a brush. I don't want to do that. I don't know. Is that something we'd be interested in? Like a, a uh, as a cheaper alternative? I would definitely still turn brushes, of course, but if I designed brushes and in, in 3D and then print them for cheaper, is that something we'd be interested in at all, or or no? For those of you not aware, 3D printing with a resin 3D printer is pretty high quality stuff. Pretty good. Um, so far, mostly what I've been printing is not craving shaving stuff. Been doing little toys and figurines and stuff for my kids. Done a couple stands like that back there and whatnot. I, I, one of my things on my list is to, I need to learn a lot more about develop or uh, 3D modeling, but I want to make some brush stands. I don't know if you guys have this problem, but brush stands that I have purchased in the past. have not fit my handles because my handles tend to be a little bit bigger so designing a brush stand that I could print out that's able to fit them would be cool and then I could sell them alongside my brush for pretty pretty cheap that'll do all right Great stuff. This razor is fantastic. I mean, I probably still cut myself because I usually do. But it didn't feel rough. We should give it the real test though. Um, which is the old Allen block, or Allen stick in this case. It looks like it's been dropped. I don't know if that was me or my daughter likes to get into stuff. Which out. Remember, if you have kids, keep your shaving stuff out of their reach. You don't want them getting into your, especially your razor blades. I had a scary incident with my, uh, now my second youngest daughter, second to youngest. Um, I always kept my blades up out of reach, but I left a pack down one time and she got in, got into them. And luckily didn't hurt herself very bad, but she did cut her finger. Little teeny cut, these are sharp blades, so I mean, that did happen, but tell you what, if you wanna learn really quickly what not to do, do something stupid like that and you learn never to make that mistake again.
So now this stuff, I'm okay if she gets into that and breaks my Allen block, but the other stuff, not so much. Uh, not a lot of feel, a little bit on the neck and that. Nice. It is nice to be clean shaven. I did have <clears throat> a lot of beard, uh, beard remorse, shavers remorse after shaving my beard off, but it does feel nice to be clean shaven again. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. We got this granite handled um, gel tip bore brush. Looking great. Looking fine. Um, we had. History 101 it has soap all over the top of it. Sorry, let me. History 101. This stuff rocks. I love this stuff. It's awesome. I don't know if that was in frame or not. We'll find out later. And the awesome West Coast Shaving Prototype. Um, this also rocks. Um, I really, really like it. Okay. Time for some aftershave and hey you know what we're gonna do we gotta do gotta do it <sighs> aftershaves are getting dusty from growing my beard out <sighs> boomtown bay rum i do not have the matching aftershave for history 101 so this will have to do actually that's not true i think i do have that but the aftershave you know how scents are a little different in the aftershave sometimes kyle said that the the scents that should be the exact same but the aftershave smells a lot more smoky and my daughters and my wife can't stand it so they don't mind the smell of the soap they can't stand the smell of the uh, history 101 aftershave so it's a bummer um, I think I think it's fine if you're wondering is everyone gonna hate it no I don't think so but um, my family doesn't like it a lot <laughs> All right. Well, hey, that was that was nice. That was good. Um, and I don't see uh, I see some red, but I don't see any actual bleeding. So that's nice. That doesn't happen for me very often. Um, if you're wondering, this star jelly. Find a scent that you like and get some star jelly if you don't already. This stuff, the the menthol, is perfectly um, portioned out. It's great stuff. So. Um, highly recommend it. It's it's almost like this alcohol-based balm that's it's just great. It's it's great if you like the alcohol burn. If you don't like the alcohol burn, probably just get a normal balm. But if you like a splash for the alcohol feel, but you kind of I don't know. This is a easier way to put it on, I guess. It's really good. I I rec highly recommend it. Um, and that's it. I think um, I'll try to get. Um, some brushes out this weekend. I don't know if that will happen or not. It's uh, it's it's busy when school's back on. So, and especially with uh, it getting darker earlier, we uh, we just um, I don't know. It just seems like the day goes by faster. I don't know. But uh, I think that's it. I think that's everything uh, done and dusted. So hey, thanks for tuning into this episode of Craving Shaving. Hopefully it was enjoyable to you. Um, if you have any suggestions of other things you'd like to see. Um, throw them in the comments, email me at cravingshaving at gmail.com, whatever you'd like to do. And uh, thank you. Hope you have a wonderful day.